Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing a kidney and this is the region of the cortex. Here is the medulla and this is the renal pelvis. The area of abnormality is this uh, roughly wedge-shaped area here with the pointed end going towards the medulla and there are some blood vessels here. Before we look at the area of pathology, let's look at some of the normal appearing renal cortex. So we can see these glomerular structures here and here, and there are many viable nuclei in the glomeruli. These are the nuclei of the endothelial cells of the capillaries and some in the mesangium. And then adjacent to this, just surrounding it, we can see many, many tubular structures also with viable nuclei. And some of these structures with the pinker cytoplasm and more abundant cytoplasm, these are part of the proximal convoluted tubules. Now let's look at the abnormal area. So as mentioned, this is a roughly wedge-shaped area with the base facing the renal capsule and the pointed area towards the medulla. And there is a blood vessel here. So looking at this abnormal area, we can see that it appears quite pink compared to the adjacent viable renal parenchyma on both sides. And I'm going to zoom in some more. We can see that many of these tubular structures still retain the outline of the tubules and also the individual cell outlines with increased eosinophilic appearance of the cytoplasm. What is striking, however, is that the nuclei are gone. In some areas, there is just a shadowy outline of uh, what's remaining of a nucleus, uh, maybe karyolytic features, but in many areas the nuclei are actually gone. So this preservation of the cellular outlines, the increased eosinophilia of the cytoplasm, the absence of nuclei, these are classical features of coagulative necrosis. We see the same picture also in the glomeruli. For example, here we can see the nuclei are almost entirely gone, but we still have some outlines of the capillary loops. So the pathologic process here is coagulative necrosis, and the diagnosis is a renal infarct, and we have this wedge-shaped area of infarcted tissue. This is probably because one of the arteries was actually occluded, one of the common causes would be thromboembolic phenomena. Let's take a closer look at this artery. And while we see that the lumen is mostly patent here, there is a small area of abnormality. And I can see that there is fibrin and red blood cells entrapped between this. So this is part of a thrombus. And in this particular section, in this plane, it is not fully occluding the blood vessel. However, in another area, perhaps this vessel could have been occluded by the thrombus, thereby leading to ischemia and infarction of the area of blood supply. So in summary, what we are seeing here is a renal infarct. This is a wedge-shaped area of coagulative necrosis where the cell outlines are still preserved, the nuclei are gone, and there is increased eosinophilia of the cytoplasm. Thank you.